clowning them, bullying, not doing homework, barely passing. You just become a robot. You just become a robot. You need guidance in life. And motherfuckers, I'm here. Yo! What's going on? It's another day. Hope everybody's having a good one. I, I seem to get into my deepest thoughts when I'm riding in the highway. I started thinking about when I was a teenager, how much of a piece of shit I was. I thought I was the shit. I thought fucking bullying people was the shit. I thought fucking hitting them when they were down was the shit. Man, I had teachers that used to tell me I was never gonna be shit. And I didn't believe them. Because I was doing me. This is a message mostly for teenagers who think they're the shit. You can be shit if you become something. Like I was a piece of shit. If I stayed the way I was, I wouldn't be here right now. <clears throat> Some people just get lucky in life. Some people get to be, be a piece of shit for the rest of their life and become great, millionaires, successful. You know, they become fucking NFL, NBA players, rappers, pieces of shit that become popular and when I say pieces of shit what I mean is by your attitude that shit sucks man we live in a world where everybody think that shit is dope I think that's all a bunch of shit if you if you want to be somebody focus on what you got in front of you man focus on school fuck that crowd that wants to go fucking drink and party Go grind. Go fucking read a book. Learn something. Ever hear older people than myself say, man, if I could do things differently when I was young, I would have done this, 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 and that. Well, I'm going to tell you something right now. If I could have done shit different as a teenager, man, I would have fucking just started doing what I'm doing now at that age. God knows where I would be right now, man. <sighs> Which is a good thing because if I stay on this path, hopefully by the time I'm 40, I'm where I want to be, but I digress. When you guys wake the fuck up in the morning, this is to that teenage crowd, I want y'all to listen real good. When y'all wake up in the morning and you look in the mirror, do you have a plan or do you just go with the motion of life and fucking follow your friends? And meet up in the crowd where they're all at all the time in the morning. And listen to them talk shit about people. Hate on people. Make fun of people. Is that you? Is that you going to the crowd? Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at them. What are those? What are those? Yeah? Who are you? Huh? I wish I could be that superhero for them niggas, dog. Because I remember roasting niggas when I was younger. But there was something in the back of my head that always told me, why am I doing this shit? Just to be, just to ride with these dudes? Just so I can get a drink with these dudes after school? Just so I can smoke a blunt with these dudes? Or oh, so better yet, so I can spark them up and they think I'm cool and shit? So I could ride shotgun in the only fucking car that was ever available to us? <sighs> And that shit wasn't even promised. Sometimes you fucking wouldn't even have to have the fucking privilege to be in the car. Take the bus, dog. How's that feel? Blah. One of my best friends in the whole wide world, bro. I looked up to this dude as a young one. I wanted to be bad. I wanted to be a badass. I wanted to make fun of people. I wanted to be that dude. One of my best friends ended up staying with the crowd as everybody went in their own direction out of high school. You know, I stayed doing my thing. I became an alcoholic and a drug addict. So I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But I didn't, I went with the alcoholic and drug addict click. We stayed in the same spot, selling drugs, doing what we had to do, 
but we didn't fucking bring problems or cause problems unless it got brought to us, which was very rarely because we were so cool people. We were just humble ass people. Yes, you can be humble and sell drugs, yes. You can be a nice person and do that, but that's another topic for another day. So, this guy, I think he comes out of jail in like, I don't know, I'd say like 15 more years. He's been in there already like, damn, I don't know, maybe 10 years? I'm 31, 20, yeah, like 10 years. So he got like another 15 years to go. He's very lucky he didn't get life. I went to visit him a couple times. And I couldn't believe that shit. That's like a brother. Somebody you ride with every day. Somebody you roll with every day. The first time I visited that dude. And I got out of there. I was still in my, in my dark days. In my drinking and drug days. Man, the first day I got out of there. I was like, holy shit. Look what the hell happens to us as teenagers if we think we're the shit. If you grow up around parents who are fucking gangbangers or whatever the fuck it is, you don't gotta be that, but you can fucking get out of that. That's why there's people out there willing to help you, willing to get out of that. That's why people always telling you, don't do this, don't do that. We go through shit in life as teenagers that's kind of a wake up call. Like, you ever go through something scary? Like, I went through a lot of shit. I can't believe I never saw the signs. You go through scary shit, a crazy car accident. Um, just crazy shit that could, that could basically mean you were almost dead. This happens to most people who, this happens, I believe so, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but this happens to most teenagers who who just headed down a path of destruction, like just bullying people, fucking thinking that they're better than them, um, stealing from them. Man, I did all that. You don't gotta be that person. If you listen to me, I could tell you story for days. This is like a story time. A little pep talk for you teenage chumps. Don't. Act a fool in school, man. If you went to school tomorrow and straightened up and said, you know what, I don't want this life no more, your friends will notice like that. Yo, what's wrong with this dude? What's wrong with this chick? She's doing homework. She's focused. She's driven. What the hell? Yo, that person is gonna make it. Not saying that the people in that group won't ever make it, but they'll probably, it'll probably snap in their head when they get older and then, you know, whatever. Go through the motions of life, become a robot, nine to five every fucking day, dread Sundays, fuck all that, man. That's what we're destined if we fucking just start from a teenage life of just going to a circle, roasting people, clowning them, bullying, not doing homework, barely passing. You just become a robot. You just become a robot. You need guidance in life. And motherfuckers, I'm here. I'm here. I'm that motherfucker that watches YouTube channels. And I see that positive dude trying to help people accomplish their goals. And... And do positive things And then I read the comment section And there's a bunch of trolls Are you that troll? You must be that troll If you're down there eh, Writing whatever is so fucking negative That like, How do people have the time to watch something And then comment Over and over and over Some bad shit Just ignore them What the fuck? Just ignore them, just read it and be like, okay, words, nigga. <laughs> Fuck it. And those are the people that develop thick skin and, and make it in life. I got a lot of people to thank for the way I think every day. And that shit is real out there. 
first person that I ever started paying attention to on YouTube was Brandon Carter. Then I bumped into Ty Lopez. Then I bumped into Chris Jones. Scott Herman. Wow, positive people. Gary B. Yo, it's just... There's people out there who, who listen to these people and probably be like, bored. Like, what the hell are these guys talking about? What are they doing? But if you want what they got, you can get it.